So this film will be about you know a new project. I sized the opportunity. I found very cheap full suspension carbon frame on the internet for a very good price. About I think it was two thousand and half five hundred uh, Norwegian crowns. So in euros will be around two hundred fifty euro, maybe less, depending on the exchange rate. So I decided to make uh, like a very cheap uh, carbon uh, electrical bike so I'll just show you quickly all the components which will be used in uh, this project here you can see the frame uh, this is model GT ZAS car you can see already installed uh, rear suspension the model is uh, Rockstock Monarch here so I will talk a little bit about this frame. It's quite unique design, as you can see. Very rare solution for the bottom bracket. I don't know if there is any other producer doing using such a solution. But what is interesting with this is that the bottom bracket is following uh, the angle or the distance towards the rear axle whenever the frame is in the move so you have a special link keeping the bottom bracket in the proper appropriate position what is good with this you know, most of the carbon frames have very beefy uh, bottom bracket Thanks to this one, actually, it's possible to install this TSD Z2 motor, uh, and that's the re main reason why I bought this uh, frame. On normal carbon uh, frame, wouldn't be possible to install the motor. Yeah. What else interesting of this frame is that it has uh, fully integrated cabling. You can all see openings here. And this is for the front uh, derailleur, I presume. Here you can see the brackets for the cabling of the brake, rear brakes. Frame comes with tapered uh, head set. Uh, steering wheel bracket. It's difficult to remember all of this term terminology. Uh, the rear axle is a uh, full axle type. On the table you can see all the uh, required components. So I will just go quickly through all of them. I will not go into details. <laughs> it's a lot of elements which will be used in this build. So starting first, and this is the fork. Fox type uh, 32, float. Uh, 29 uh, with lockout system uh, through axle type other components here is you know familiar uh, steering unit uh, VLC D6 for uh, the motor crank arms ring gear shifter for the back uh, derailleur what else uh, yeah. Sprocket with 10 gears. Here is the motor. Uh, brakes. I bought very good uh, Guide R type brakes, which comes with four piston. Uh, what I read, they are really strong in braking. Uh, the new one costs around 3000 crowns. I get it for. 1300 was a good deal. Here is rear derailleur X9 SRAM. Here you can see the brackets for the battery holder. Since this is carbon uh, frame, I was a little bit worried about drilling new holes, so I will use probably one of them in the front connection somewhere here. Uh, there are holes. 
I'll use them in this uh, project. Yeah, but just to stiffen up uh, the battery so it will not bounce up and down, I will just use this bracket. Just over here. What else? Um, here's the battery holder, stem, tapered headset, some end connectors to the motor, uh, center lock adapter, grips, these brake mount adapters, 480mm uh, discs, this is the package for the through axle at the back, pedals, here is the box with the, for the rough rear shock, it's a brand new one, tires 29 inch, racing love from Schwalbe, I mentioned pedals already, yeah, and tubes. Mm. All right. Oh. And of course, we use. I finished yesterday installation of the main components of this bike, which is the fork, the steering, the motor, and the seat post. So now I'll try to put together all the remaining uh, secondary elements. You can say like brakes or so other root, the back uh, brakes through the, these channels here. And also cabling for the uh, derailleur. Yeah, now we put all the other necessary elements, like grips, lights, yeah, and wheels, of course. I will show you quickly how the installation of the motor looks like. Oh, it's very good fit, I'd say. Here you can see the rubber element protecting uh, this bracket from the motor so it's dampening any forces uh, coming from the motor during operation at the back you can see the cable going to the battery holder So I just need to finish the job installing the seal and putting the rest of the components like the speed sensor and route the cable for the control panel. But this is the easiest job, so I will not make any video on this. Okay, next step. One of the most difficult jobs is uh, internal cable routing for uh, gear wires and cables. Oh. So I already done this, you can see this plastic uh, cable put through in the channel inside this uh, down tube. Very handy tool for this job is this kind of magnet and the wire. So thanks to these tools you can guide the wire with the magnet through the tube in the bike or other side, depends what you want. Sometimes you know the openings are quite small for this piece, so you can always use the end of the cable. So once this cable is put through the tube, you can uh, feed this plastic tube through the wire, and then you can feed the proper wire for the gears, for instance the channel. You can see that the uh, GT Zaska project uh, is now completed. I was waiting really long for delivery of this battery. I think around one and a half month. Took a while to get it. But as you can see it fits perfectly in this frame. So probably you wonder uh, what is the total cost of this project. All the parts including frame except the battery and the motor uh, cost me around 15,000 crowns. So adding to this uh, price of the motor around 5,000 and the battery another 5,000. 
I close in the price range of 25,000 in total. So if you compare the prices of similar bikes on the market, if you want to go for the full suspension electric uh, carbon bike, you have to pay probably at least 40,000 cross. So you have the answer of uh, what is actually beneficial. <laughs> Some people can actually go for the uh, stock uh, bikes. I fully understand this decision because so everything is well made up, but then you need to prepare uh, your wallet for big expenses. So, if you prefer to save some money and actually you like to temper or uh, build stuff yourself, I think that's the way to go. I will show you quickly now the whole setup of this bike. The most interesting part uh, for any electrical bike is of course the motor and the battery. And, uh, for this conversion, sorry for the dirt on the parts, but this bike was already driven a lot. <laughs> I didn't bother to clean it properly. But as uh, you can see, uh, Everything is uh, installed and uh, fixed properly, and uh, there's no main, no problems with this setup. Uh, here you can see the routing of the cables. I have used this uh, glued zip tie brackets. So this is the main cable going to the battery, power supply cable. Here is the placement of the battery. You can see this is very tight fit, but there are no problems with removing it. Yeah. The only consequence of this arrangement of the battery is that water is collecting in the bracket here. Let's say it dries out over time, it takes one day. I was thinking maybe making some holes in these uh, stiffeners just to drain out the water quicker, but I think I'll just leave it as it is. The most important thing is that water is not dripping into the battery, so as long as you can prevent this, then it'll be alright. So other stuff is the front wheel with this Fox uh, Float 32 uh, fork. Guide brakes, they are very powerful. Here is the arrangement on the steering bar. So this is this VLCD6 uh, display screen. I put uh, additional GoPro attachment. Here is the arm uh, fixing bracket for the lights, so I can connect the external battery if I want to use it in the evening or the night. Now it's summer, so I don't use the lights so much. So here you can see the mounting for the phone, bell, gears. Here is the back wheel. I had some problems with installing this uh, support like for the bike since this frame doesn't have any permanent attachment points. So, the major obstacle was that this bracket was shifting whenever I was pressing the leg up and down. So I decided to use glue here. On both sides so this is keeping this element in place and thanks to this bracket the whole support is very stiff and there is no flex in the bot uh, bottom frame okay thanks for watching of this movie if you have any questions or you are interested in any other topics related to electrical bikes uh, just send me a message from facebook or youtube or my uh, company uh, website on internet so, yeah, try to make something uh, really cool for yourself. Yeah.
not just go for the ready solutions you need to pay some uh, effort into this but then it's very rewarding and, and you can always fix something and replace uh, anything yourself easily not like with this brand uh, big brands and bikes <laughs> so take care and drive safe